Phil's book and I'm back with another review oh man and I just done Starscream and now the Minicon Assault Team and this looks great I mean I've been a big fan of Minicons for a while and uh, yeah I just love it the Microns are okay Arms Micron are okay but no Minicons are more awesome murmur yeah, awesome murmur. -mur -mur. That's right. That's why I said. All right, anyhow. So, I just can't wait to check them out. You know, we've got the uh, one, three, five. Yeah, we got five Minicons in the pack. There's a one there. It's like a, a helicopter. Or, and one is an airplane over here. And uh, number five is a tank. So, uh, yeah. So, we got the uh, helicopter. A jet and a tank. So there's five minicons right there. And I mean, they do look awesome, nice, all the same color, uniformy. So when they combine, they should look good. All right. So, uh, hand hands, can you move that box? Thank you, hand hands. And we turn it here, and you can't see nothing, but yeah, only at that corner, you see the name Assault or Minicon Assault Team at the bottom. And then we turn to the back, and in the back, of course, it has the Transformers Generations, and it does have the names, and it's got them in English. So if you look up here, I'm trying to make that close as I can, and we've got, okay, so we've got a Heavy Tread, Windsure, and Runway. Man, I don't want him on my team, because when there's trouble, he's just going to run away. Yeah, so I don't, I don't really like that. And they combine to form the mighty Centuritron. Oh, the Centuritron. Okay. So we got the Centuritron. Man, I wonder if it's like Ron Simmons. Anyhow, tech specs. So let's see the tech specs. And I'm assuming the tech specs is for uh, Centur Centuritron. Yeah. So we got uh, the strength of a 9, the intelligence of a 7, speed of a 6, endurance of an 8, rank of a 6, courage of a 7, fire blast of a 10, and the skill of a 6. Well, they're mini cons. You know, you can't expect too much out of them. But man, that's pretty awesome. So uh, let's turn to the side right there. And there you go on the side. And you just see the little, little picture right there. Yeah, with the TG32 and back to the front. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to opening this guy up and let's check him out. All right, let's go. Woohoo! All right, so I'm going to start here with uh, number one, runway. And first, you just take off the uh, um, gun, Gatlin gun over there. And the transformation is so simple. I mean, of course, you're going to move this back. Come over here, and there's the legs over here. Oh, sorry, we've got to pop out the arms from the side because they uh, tab in. And you get the arm, the legs, move them down like this, here and here. And then this part's just going to flip down to here like this. And that is that right there is wind shear. And then you take this and you add it to the arm. And I really do like this face. I really, and hopefully focus it. Yeah, I really like that face. I mean, it just looks like a very Transformers animated face. And it really does look great. I mean, and you can look at, I mean, even when you look at the chest, the little details they did put in. Nice paint job. And looks great. I mean, if you want, you can just close up the uh, helicopter blades. All right, so let's go to the next one. Ow, fell down. All right. So next, we're going to go, and we're going to do runway. And this is kind of pretty cool that they actually have an extra piece here that they do use for the guns later and other things. So first thing, we're going to disconnect his arms here like this. And we're going to have similar, like this. Open up the legs. And then this part here, you just pull out this way. So this part pulls out. Goes here like this, like this. Flip his foot out like this. 
clip this down lock it in and there you have right here you have runway and then you take this guy lock it on his arm and he's got like this big cannon and again you know I faces are nice they actually are pretty nice. I mean, really good details on them. And they look good. I mean, this is all all I need for a nice Transformer. That's why I like a lot of the Cyberverse toys. I haven't really reviewed many, but I do like the Cyberverse. Real simple, simple toys. So, uh, yeah, just take him, move him to the side. And we have the last one, the Beefcake. And I do like how they came about solutions on him. Number one, first we flip down the side here like this. This and this. Okay, so move the treads down. Then we're going to just go and open up the feet like this. So we're going to get his feet out. And then for his hands, we're going to just go and pull out. And same thing here. And sometimes he separates. That's for the other. But really, this is all his transformation is. I mean, and he is just a big monocled beefcake. Hold on. If that goes there, yeah. I mean, just look at that. I just, I love it. I mean, just so beefy. You know, I am really, really cool. You know, they, he just legs move forward, arms move forward. Um, wind shear, wind shear and runway. They've got leg articulation. All of them, their arms are just on ball joints. So they're very limited. Their heads don't move, so you don't really need to go to articulation. Now this part here does come off. So you can have just like this, or you can put the big beefcake gun, you know, in his, on his hand. Or in his hand, I should say. Yeah, so you could have a big beefcake gun on him like this whatever you like to do but yeah so there you have the team of five right there right there one three five see I'm getting better at this counting stuff so uh, let's go and we'll get them into their combined mode to form Centurit Ron I can't wait alright so let's go and take uh, wind shear over here and change them into the um combined mode so first thing we're going to just take off his gun and then we're going to go and next part we're going to come back here to the back and lift up here and there's the head we're going to go in here and flip out the head come down come down here oh you don't want to do that lock the head down there and then we're going to take the arms and normally you tab the arms down here but in that mode you're going to tab them up top so you just tab in there tab in there and pretty much they say you're supposed to leave these out like this oh one more take this part and put it here okay and they say to do that but me I like to uh, just fold up the legs like before seems to work better in my opinion so that's it that's part one and now we have the head part. All right. All right. So let's take runway and turn him into his vehicular mode. So first we come here and pop this off. Now he got his arms here. And we're going to pick this part up here so it's out of the way so we can get to the waist. And if you see, the waist has a couple of special hinges on it because his feet are going to become the arms. So what we're going to do is we're going to go separate these guys okay and then you just kind of bring them down out this way flip it over and it's going to lock in right there like that okay same thing over here we're going to come here down flips around locks in there okay we're going to take his little arms and we're just going to push them in this way they don't lock in anywhere. You just put them like this, and we're going to flip this part down. Like that. So now you have this. Now we're going to come over here, turn them upside down. And you're going to fl flip this down. And we're going to open this up. Like there, for the fist. 
And so we're going to come back down here, open this up, and there's the fist. So this is the body part right here. All right, and let's get to the last piece. All right, so first thing, of course, we're going to remove his uh, gun. Put that to the side, and now we just have him. Now all you need to do is push the arms in. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to separate. Separate them like this. And turn around this way. Like this. Wow, there you go. I mean, that's basically all this transformation is. I mean, this is the bottom part. Right here, nothing fancy. Nothing like, wow, that's amazing. No, there it is. That's his leg section. All right, so let's just go and put them all together. All right, so now we're going to go and if you see this part, the clip here is going to go into uh, back behind the head. There's a clip there. And the head, of course, is going to go in that big hole. So we're going to just go like this. Oh, man. Hold on, I want to make sure you guys can see. Give me a second here. Let me move that arm out of the way. So right here, the clip is going to go here. The head's going to go in there. It just pops in. does take a little bit of force. There you go. Right like that. And then make sure, because for the next part, you got to have uh, this piece, of, if it's moved out of position, it won't lock in right, so please make sure that that's all lined up there. Okay, so now we have this. Now we're going to go and we're going to take a wind shear. And this peg here, and earlier I had pushed in the legs. No, you can't push in the legs. Uh, they got to be like this. That'll keep it out of the way. And uh, one more. Let me just go. So we're going to just go, and this hole right here, that nose cone is going to go in there, and then this peg is going to go in the middle hole. So we got to do, it's easier if you kind of line this up first, and then, and you really can't see the peg hole, but right there. And then it's all lined up, and boom, he goes together like that. And then you have Centurit Ron. There you go. And there is Centurit Ron. And he does get a bigger gun. So if you just take take the uh, gun from the tank, heavy tread, and we're going to go in on the top of it. We're going to put this one. And on the bottom part, we are going to put the cannon from Runway right here. It's going to go on the bottom part here. I think it was this way, yeah. More toward the front. Like this. And so you've got this big, big cannon now. And of course you can go and put it in his arm. Like this. And there is Centurit Ron. Okay, and let me go and let's do details on him real fast. Alright, and as you can see, he's got a very nice head sculpt. I do really like that. And I like that they're unified as a team. They really have a nice unified look because of all the green and the black and yellow. And a really great look to them. I mean, everything seems to work. And if you go around, I mean, yeah, he's a little bit odd. But I mean, what do you expect from a, uh, from a Micron combiner? You know, I yeah, you can see his butt right there. He's got a face butt. You know, you see the legs hanging out here. There's lots that you can see if you want to be nitpicky. But overall, I like the way he looks. I mean, I enjoy this. I mean, I, I like when they do these combiners. Hold well, on, let me just move this uh, gun. And, he, and even his gun does look pretty good. I mean, you've got this massive, massive gun. I like the way that looks. All right. But uh, for size... Let's bring out Waspinator again. So if we have Waspinator, I mean, he's actually a deluxe figure size. You know, and not too bad. I mean, I mean, I remember, what was it? Perceptor, I think they called it. You know, the combination from uh, 
from the original Armada. You know, it was a bicycle, a skateboard, and a scooter, I think it was. Yeah, and that thing was terrible. This is pretty nice. I mean, this looks good. He looks good and beefy. I mean, and he can stand. He doesn't just fall down. Now, uh, let me just go. And for articulation, his shoulder's on a ball joint. So he can go all the way around. He does remarkably have an elbow. So you've got the elbow movement there. No wrist, of course. No waist. As far as the legs go, he does move forward to the side. It is a ball joint. And he does have a knee. But to use the knee, you're going to have to move this arm. But then you do have the ability to have a knee. And you just kind of have to play with this arm piece, you know, a bit to try and keep it out of the way. So I haven't figured out exactly how to do it, but... I'm sure playing around with it will figure out some way to get the uh, knee articulation. So, you can get him into poses. You can get him in. And he's not like floppy, every, everything falls off. He seems to fit in together very well. And really, I mean, I'm, I'm glad that they made this. I'm happy with this guy. Really nice figure. I like the look of it. I like that they're doing combiners. And this is pretty good, and I like that they're bringing back Microns. I hope we get more Microns, because uh, I've always liked them. I've been partial to the Microns, so uh, bring them on, Hasbro, Takara. And, uh, yeah, hopefully he gets a buddy somewhere along the way. But, yeah, real nice, really good. And uh, let's get to the summation. All right. Time for the summation. And I am ever so glad to have new Microns. I mean, wow. I weren't expecting this one. And I weren't sure how it would be. But man, I do like it. I really like it. Because I like combiners. And he's green. And I like green. And he gets to hang out with his new pals. He's got a G1 anime version Devastator. Which I will review next week. Then we got a Buildmaster over here, which I won't be reviewing, but Buildmaster's okay. I mean, if you get him on the cheap, he's okay. And I got this one on the cheap. And then finally, we have Centurit Ron. And, you know, you've got the combiners here for Centurit Ron, and, you know, you get all five um, combiners there. You get, let's see, a Heavy Tread, that's one, and then you get... um. Wind shear, that's three, and then you get um, runway, that's five, five toys in one. Ain't that awesome? I like that. So anyhow, I mean, this toy took me by surprise. I really enjoy it. I really like it, and yeah, it's on my recommend list. But I have to put a little button there because if you don't like microns. Well, you're not going to like it. Because, you know, there's a lot of people out there who don't like those simple Transformers, even if they combine into more things. So if you don't like um, Macrons, you won't like it. But if you enjoy the Macrons and Armada in general, I think this is really great. I mean, I think you'll really, really enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, I'm one of those guys that just loves Macrons. And I know not everybody likes Macrons, but for me... I think the Microns is awesome. It's fantastic. I mean, it's really great. And I... Did, did Unicron just steal my Micron? How am I going to eat that now? Come back here, Uni... Oh, man. <sighs> Was it nice? Yeah. Is it shiny? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah, but can I eat it? No. Unicron just done run off with it. And I got to ask Fu. Is Fu related to Unicron? Because he got that mustache and uh he got that uh beardy thing oh maybe maybe it's like his uncle or son oh man get a ground come back uh well nice shiny and good good toy good toy uh bye i gotta go chase down unicron unicron come back come back 